Welcome to today's video history of Waterford Streets. Well, today's video history is all about the theatres in Waterford. Where were they? Their locations. Were they Theatre Royal or just an ordinary theatre? Behind me you can see here the Theatre Royal, which is well known and much loved here in Waterford. And that started around 1784-1785, but that was as a playhouse. But there's more to be told about this Theatre Royal a little later on. So what we're going to do now is going to go around Waterford and I'll show you the locations of the other theatres and theatre aisles. The first theatre we're going to look at, you can see on this old map here of Waterford, dated 1764, and in the ruin of Blackfirs, you see there was a playhouse there. Now was this playhouse a theatre aisle? We don't know. But this building may have been a theatre aisle because in the Waterford Chronicle newspaper, of 1772 we find an announcement of a play to be held in the Theatre Isle in Waterford. The next theatre we're going to look at was called the Market House Little Theatre and on September the 21st 1816 the Waterford newspaper, the Waterford Mirror, announced that the Little Theatre in the Market House and this stood on the quay halfway between Gladstone Street and Hanover Street almost opposite Dooley's Hotel I do believe that there's a flower shop there now. They were to hold a performance of Marmion. Uh, the price of admission was as follows. Stage boxes, three shillings, four pence. And back boxes, two shillings and six pence. That the next theatre may be a surprise to many, many people. And we have an ad for the Waterford Mirror newspaper of Waterford the 19th, 1829. And it carried an announcement that a new theatre was to open in Lady Lane. The man responsible for this theatre was a Mr Potter, whom the Waterford Mirror declared expended a large sum and is using considerable exertions for the entertainment of the public. This theatre occupied the site of the present Franciscan Friary. The opening performance was a play of Sweethearts and Wives and the price of admission were boxes three shillings, the pit two shillings and the gallery one shilling. It's not until 1834 that we can with certainty determine the exact location of an early theatre royal in Waterford City. In the Waterford Mail of October the 10th, 1834, we find a location called the Arena, which was used for horse displays on the corner of Bolton Street and Bow Street, had been taken over and was going to be turned into a theatre. It was eventually completed in uh, February 1835 and it opened its doors on February the 11th, that was on a Wednesday, 1835 with a play, a performance of the play, The Mountaineers. World-famous Waterford-born Shakespearean actor Charles Keane performed a play called A New Way to Pay Old Debts in the Bolton Street Theatre Royal on Monday the 20th of April 1835. It was billed as his first performer in his native city. Charles Keane made his entree, then he was hailed with long and loud plaudits. He acknowledged the flattering reception he met with the most, in the most graceful manner by repeated bowing to the audience. However, it is difficult to find mention of this theatre after 1838. The next theatre is Bailey's New Street Theatre, which was around 1842. About this time, the Waterford Mirror of January the 8th, 1842, reported that a new theatre was to be opened by Mr. Burroughs at present of the Chester Theatre and late of Belfast. A gentleman of much respectability is to open a theatre here shortly and to continue it for a short season each year. We understand that Bailey's New Street is likely to be the site. Well, unfortunately, I have not found any reference to this theatre after that date. It's not until 1834 that we can with certainty determine the exact location of an early theatre royal in Waterford City. In the Waterford Mail of October the 10th, 1834, we find a location called the Arena, which was used for horse displays on the corner of Bolton Street and Bow Street, had been taken over and was going to be turned into a theatre. It was eventually completed in uh, February 1835 and it opened its doors on February the 11th, that was on a Wednesday, 1835, with a play, a performance of the play, The Mountaineers. World-famous Waterford-born Shakespearean actor Charles Keane performed a play called A New Way to Pay Old Debts in the Bolton Street Theatre Royal on Monday the 20th of April 1835. It was billed as his first performer in his native city. Charles Keane made his entree, 
Then he was hailed with long and loud plaudits. He acknowledged the flattering reception he met with the most, in the most graceful manner by repeated bowing to the audience. However, it is difficult to find mention of this theatre after 1838. The next theatre ride we find is in Berifer Street. Now, that's the present Parnell Street. And I discovered the location of this by consulting uh, some Griffiths valuation maps. Uh, the location of this theatre was on the site occupied by the Olympia Ballroom, presently Rapid Cabs, which is alongside the YMCA Hall. This theatre was in existence in uh, the late 1830s and the 1840s and ceased to function as a theatre when the building of uh, St John's Church in Parnell Street commenced, which it started, St John's Church started around 1837 and was opened in 1850. So by 1850, Burrisford Street Theatre Isle would have been gone. The final theatre we're going to look at is the present theatre Isle here on the Mall. Now the building itself opened in 1784 as assembly rooms for local merchants and within that building was a playhouse. Now the playhouse didn't always uh, run continuously and we know that because of the fact that there were other theatres around the town. But in 1874 some local guys got together and decided that let's open the, the, the playhouse again and name it a theatre island and indeed they did. Now there was lots of opposition too. There was opposition from the Protestant bishop who said it was wrong to have some uh, a theatre so close to the, to the cathedral. The Roman Catholic bishop also backed him and said it was wrong to have it so close to uh, St John's Church which had been built up in Parnell Street or Burrows Street as of at the time. However, it, it did open and it opened its doors on Easter Monday, April the 17th, 1876. Now, one person I must mention in relation to the Israel, and that's Mr. Larry Fanning, who devoted his whole life to the development of the Theatre Isle. If you're looking for more information on the Theatre Isle, you go on to the Waterford Theatre Isle archive, you, you can find that on, uh, on the internet, uh, run by Wayne Brown. Uh, some absolutely brilliant information there. I play there myself on many occasions as a young fella in Fade in the Scullina and also in Tops of the Town. If you enjoyed our little roundup of Waterford theatres and indeed theatre aisles. So on the next time, see ya.